In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your custom GoDaddy domain to your render project. So here's what you need to do. So here I am on render. I'm in projects. And once we're in projects, we'll be able to see everything we've deployed. I deployed my GitHub project to render. So here we've got a to-do list app. So you'll see all your projects here. Click on the one you want to connect the custom domain to. Then I'm going to click to do site. And as you can see, we're just using the basic render URL. If I go ahead and copy this and open up a new tab and then click paste, I'm just going to show you what it is. It's, it's a basic to-do list app for this video, right? So we're going to connect a GoDaddy domain to this. So how do we do that? Well, first we go to settings after you've clicked into your project. And then on settings, if you scroll pretty much all the way down, you'll come to custom domains. Here you can click add custom domain. Then you need to find your domain on GoDaddy. So I'm on account.godaddy.com forward slash products. Here it's going to show you all the domains and the websites you've got available. I'm going to connect this one here, searchbasemethod.com. So what we want to do, first we'll copy it. So I'll just copy the domain. We'll go to render. I'll type in www.searchbasemethod.com. Click save. And once we've done that, it's going to ask us to add two DNS records to this domain. In GoDaddy, we can do this very easily. So go to the DNS area of your domain. So I'm going to click on DNS. That should take us to the DNS area. And here we can go ahead and add DNS records. Make sure you're on the correct domain. GoDaddy sometimes lists all of your domain in like a drop down and you need to click on it. So you can see we're in the right domain here. So we're going to go to DNS records. And we're going to click add new record. Now, if this isn't working, we need to go to name servers and just make sure by clicking change name servers, you're on the standard GoDaddy name servers. Click save and then continue and verify. And once you've just verified your identity, you should be able to then change the name servers back. As you can see, my request is in progress. If you already are on the custom GoDaddy name servers, you won't have to do this. I was just done some custom ones for another video. So now we've changed back to the default GoDaddy name servers. You can then go ahead and see we can add a record. Now I'll click add new record. And what we need to do is we need to add two records from render. So the first one is going to be a CNAME record for www pointing to this value here. So click copy and it will copy this whole value. And then just remember CNAME www. Then we'll go back to GoDaddy. We'll go type, click CNAME, the name, type www. And for the value, paste in the value that you've just copied from render here. Click save, and it then should add this record. If you've got a conflicting CNAME www record, you might want to delete it. We do have a conflicting record, so we do need to go ahead and delete this. So I'm going to cancel out of this. And we'll just delete this current CNAME www record. We'll just remove it. Okay, so now we've just successfully deleted that. We can go ahead and click add new record. We can go and add a CNAME record, www, and then paste in this value. Now, just to go over this one more time in case you got confused, CNAME record, www, pointing to this value here that you can copy. CNAME record, www point into that value click save provided you've not got any other records you can go ahead and add it for me i have to verify my identity through a phone number so i'm just going to do that now okay so now that has been added we should be able to see it cname www with this value okay so that one's done let's go to the next one we need to add an a name or an alias record pointing to this value here so we'll go to GoDaddy and we'll go add new record and we'll look, we'll go type. We're looking for a name or alias. Now, as you can see, there is no a name or alias. So we'll go back to render and it says, if your DNS provider does not support a name or alias, use an a record pointing to this IP address here. So click copy on this IP address and we're going to use an a record. So go to GoDaddy, go type a record, and then for name, you want to type in here at, and then for the value, paste in this IP address that you've just copied from render. Click save, and that should update. Again, you might have to verify. Once you've verified, it then should add those records. So here's the A record we've just added. 
we've also got the C name record that we've added as well. Now, if you've got a, another record here, another A record, and it says like parked, what I would do is I would delete it, to be honest, because it might conflict. So I'm just going to verify and we'll delete this. Okay, so now we've done that. Now we should have just our own A record we've added and the C name WW record that we've added as well. Now we can go back to render and we can click verify on both of these. Now you may notice it may be verified straight away for you. It may also take up to 48 hours. In most cases, it will take around 20 minutes to verify. Okay, so it's been around 30 minutes to be honest. This one has taken quite a while to issue the certificate. But we went from certificate error where we first left off then to certificate pending. Now we've got certificate issued. Um, I just kept refreshing. I had to wait 30 minutes. So don't panic if yours is not working straight away. Just give it a couple of hours. But now, as we can see, if we click on the domain, it is working. It's going to my to-do list. And same with the root domain as well. So that is how you can do it. Just be patient. And I hope that video helped you out.